here on the northbound, this is the northbound 101 and the northbound 170 connector uh, will split the transition road. This, this leads to the 101 and then over there leads uh, southbound, uh, continues southbound to the uh, 101. This is the 170 to your left here or behind you guys. I've got some major flooding here in the uh, here on the freeway and cars are coming in super fast. We've already had two or three near miss uh, collisions. I've got this pole right here, which is uh, looking fairly safe. Uh, the guardrail has been hit a few times and uh, we're going to get some shots of these cars coming through and just just having a heck of a time. A lot, most of the cars see the water and they're avoiding it, but you can see the uh, you can see how large that puddle is. CHP is aware of it. This area always floods, southbound and northbound. There's always a flood here. So I'm in a uh, safe spot and I'm fairly confident that we might see some uh, some bad drivers getting into uh, getting into some trouble out here. I'm going to start here. And I might end up going. I might end up going further down. This guy's flying. I might end up going further down just to uh, get a better vantage point on it. Yeah, there's been there's been quite a few quite a few losses of control, some near misses, and it's uh, it's pretty pretty crazy out here with this with this puddle. We just had one go through it, lost his bumper. Oh, we got another one. Wow. Crazy coming through here with all these uh, with these cars going this fast. Again, considering the uh, considering the conditions, wow. Considering the conditions, you gotta you gotta slow down. This is like this is crazy out here. And we do have flooding on the uh, southbound side as well so we'll see if uh we'll see what what they end up doing i assume they're going to shut this down that's the last information we saw but yeah the flooding on the other side we can see that from here as well this is a the, the safest spot we could find between the freeway here when we're done here i'll get a couple i'll get a couple shots here and then we'll head we'll probably head back over to the other side <laughs> all right here comes a couple more are coming almost to a complete stop here because of the flooding. Not good. We got a car coming really fast here. Some of these cars are coming through. We're talking 80, we're talking 80 to 90 miles an hour. And uh, we actually just got one on tape. It was a white BMW southbound 101. Uh, Tay and I just got it on tape. I see CHP going southbound. They're probably coming to close this down. Let's see if this guy stays in the fast lane here. All right, he's moving over, moving over. So we have a uh, we had a near miss well near miss for us but we had an accident southbound uh, southbound 101 just now uh, Tay and I caught it on uh, dash cam white BMW traveling at a high rate of speed in the turn hydroplanes loses control hits the center sparks flying I mean it's nuts so let's uh, let's take a look at that while we're wrapping up here. Alrighty, 
so everybody's being pretty good. The rain has slowed down. The cars are moving over. The uh, the speeds have definitely are definitely a factor combined with the standing water over there. It's probably about probably about 10 uh, 10 to 12 inches of water uh, at the deepest point. So it's not it's not super deep, but as we well know, when you have uh, when you have standing water and you have a car going over it. Oh, I'm attached here. When you have standing water with a car passing over it, you can only go as fast as your tire tread can take the water out from underneath the, uh, underneath the tire under the car. A lot of these guys are going a heck of a lot faster than what that tire is capable of doing. And that's why we're getting, uh, that's why we're getting these guys just floating on top of it, losing control. As you guys saw, we had that clip, uh, somebody losing their bumper, spinning out. I mean, it's just, uh, kind of silly you see what's going on out here la we know la's not built for the rain everybody knows that um, but you know these guys cars keep going through here they're hydroplaning then they're hitting their brakes and when they hit their brakes when the car comes back off the plane the tire that touches down onto actual concrete or asphalt first that's the one that's going to grab and it's never both at the same time it's either the right or the left this guy's flying Teslas, they made it through okay. Jeez. Uh, I mean, we're talking easy 85. Uh, wow. Oh, there we go. saying just missed that but that's fine we have uh, we have a spin out earlier um, never fails around I'm talking to you guys I, I put the camera down for a second and we get a uh, we get a guy losing control um, but I'm like I want to get out of here but I almost kind of want to stay here because this is crazy um, we've got two things we have to feed now and there's a lot of mud down here so we're gonna have to get out of here pretty quick but uh, yeah people going look at this Tesla flying he's hitting road debris too because people are going through and their bumper covers are coming off and then people are hitting that it's just oh big crash big crash wow big crash on the uh, southbound side holy cow wow 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 So, there's, there's got to be flooding over there too. Ah, jeez, I keep getting stuck to my thing. Uh, we're going to hang out here. CHP is going to run a break now for this. Look at that. You can see the water coming up. That's a big, uh, that was a big crash there. I'm, I'm going to expect the same thing on the, on the uh, northbound side here. I kind of don't want to leave yet. What's that? No, there's a second vehicle blacked out down further, and they're coming through the water here, and they're losing control. Oh, hang on. Oh, boy. He's on the, uh, I, I do believe there is a shoulder there. So I'm not super, I'm not super concerned with him. But wow, what it, you can hear that too, how powerful that is. Yeah, he's out of the car. He's, he looks like he's okay. The one further down, I'm not sure though. Uh, no, that's the transition road. We'd have to shoot down from there. Oh, he, no, because he has a freeway on the other side. He's got freeway on both sides of him. There's another guy stalled in the, in the center divider further down and he's blacked out. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. So, again, I think we're gonna get another. Oh, he's trying to start it. Let's see if he gets moving. 243. Yeah, that was a pretty hard hit. That water over here is just crazy. I'm gonna go up on the side, see if I can shoot across. Do me a favor, just keep staying in the car uh, where you're safe. And uh, I'm gonna get a couple more shots, maybe another 15 minutes and we're gonna get out of here. Once they have a break in place, southbound is, southbound is done. So let's get some more shots and we'll get on.
All right, got another spin out right there. Jeep going way too fast, doing about 85. This is like so hectic over here. This is just, uh, I don't want to say it's pure pandemonium. It's not quite to that level, but it's definitely uh, a major, uh, major hazard. Uh, that vehicle in the center has its brake lights on, which is good. And uh, all right, got another one on tape, uh, northbound transition. I, we're gonna have a. I think we're gonna have another crash here. This is just. Uh, Your TC. Uh, spin out and then he hit the uh, guardrail so got that northbound and then multiple spin outs and then we have our TC southbound did you uh, did you advise CHP I chose them on scene negative I have no I have no uh, CHP units here my concern is that um, my concern is that one of these cars comes through, loses control, and hits this guy because he's in front of his car. And I don't know what their, I can't really tell what their status is. They're way further down. They appear to be stalled. You can hear a lot of these cars when they lose control or they go through the water like that, the engine goes out. Uh, the engine goes out and you heard that one guy in the truck as he spun out, he had to restart his, his engine. So a lot of these cars, They'll spin out and then they get stuck on the freeway. This guy is like up on the side, but yeah, quite a... Uh... The newer, heavier cars seem to be doing okay. The Teslas surprisingly are going right through this stuff. I don't know how. Obviously they have uh, assisted driving uh, systems that are helping them get through it, but um, you can see the older model cars are having a really hard time navigating water that's that deep. Now I can't see from here how deep that water is over there. Um, but my assumption is it's probably as deep as this, if not deeper. But um, you can see now we've had, what, four, I think four or five collisions on the northbound transition road. And then we've had uh, the one that we've seen so far. I'm sure there's been, I'm sure there's been others. But uh, I'm on like hair trigger right now. Like, which way do I point the damn camera? Uh, at least one guy has his flashers on, which is good. The guy in the middle over here, I don't know if he's actually in lanes or not but I see his brake lights coming on. He keeps trying to, uh, he keeps trying to start the car, but it's, uh, it's not starting. We have what looks like a brake coming northbound. I'm not sure, we, we have a lull in traffic here, usually an indicative of a brake. No, they're still open. So northbound's still coming. And southbound, they were saying southbound at the uh, 101 at Vineland, it's not. It's, it's southbound 170 just before Vineland, so that the information is not 100%. Uh, Gabe is sending uh, Gabe is sending updated information to CHP. Once they have that, then we should be, this guy's flying. got here so fast too I mean uh, getting the updated information getting the updated information and being able to uh, be able to get these guys in the right spot um, and I'm sure they got multiple calls too because this area is uh, this area is definitely uh, flooded out but uh, yeah looks like uh, looks like they're handling uh, they're handling business on the southbound side they've got the whole thing closed and then it looks like it looks like everything's kind of mellowing out here on the northbound but who knows, it could be the quiet before the storm, I don't know. So once, uh, 
Yeah, once we have a little bit, uh, I, I think we're good though, honestly, on, on uh, kind of telling the story here of what's going on, but they, they definitely need to, uh, they need to preemptively get these drains uh, sucked out instead of waiting for them to flood and then causing crashes like this. But again, whether it's flooded or not, that's a road hazard, that's a road condition uh, that you should be expecting when it's raining and it's your job as a driver to pay attention and slow down in these conditions. It's like snow, rain, ice, conditions like that, you've gotta, gotta take it easy. All right, looks like FD, uh, FD's clearing and they're gonna hold that for a little bit, I think at this point, and I'm sufficiently muddy, I'm sure. But I think at, I think at this point, oh, my back is killing me too because I had the camera up there. But I think at this, uh, I think at this point we have enough to uh, enough to tell the story. So, get a couple more shots, and then uh, yeah, we'll be on to the next one. Pretty wild, uh, wild rain stuff going on, huh? Pretty crazy. All right, we're out of here.